castles. In America? You bet, forget knights and dragons. America's got its own brand of castles. These bad boys are bursting with history, intrigue, and a whole lot of how'd they build that. We're talking hidden fortresses, love nests gone wild, and even a place built by one man with a secret. Forget dusty old Europe. America's castles are anything but boring. Get ready to explore some seriously cool spots most folks don't even know exist. These places are more than just piles of rocks. They're time capsules filled with stories of ambition, heartbreak, and maybe even a little magic. So ditch the history books and grab your sense of adventure. We're about to dive into the wild world of America's hidden castles. Trust me, you're gonna want to add these to your bucket list. Bold Castle, a love story in stone. First up, Bold Castle in New York. This place screams romance, even if it's a little heartbreaking. George Bold, a big shot hotelier, built this six-story giant for his wife. Talk about a Valentine's Day gift. He spared no expense. We're talking 120 rooms, a drawbridge, even an Italian garden. Sadly, Mrs. Bolt died before it was finished. George, heartbroken, never returned. Today, you can tour this monument to love on Heart Island. Explore the grand halls, wander the gardens, and soak up the stunning views. Just try not to get choked up thinking about poor George. The Mystery of Coral Castle Next, we head south to sunny Florida. Prepare to have your mind blown at Coral Castle. This place is like something out of Indiana Jones. Get this. One man, Ed Leedskalnen, built the entire thing by himself. We're talking massive coral blocks, some weighing over 30 tons. How'd he move them? Nobody knows. Ed was a private guy, and he took his secrets to the grave. Was it aliens? Magnetism? Pure grit? You decide. Visit Coral Castle, wander through the mysterious structures, and see if you can crack the code. Just don't tell Nicolas Cage, he'll want to make another movie about it. Fort Jefferson, Guardian of the Gulf. Now let's set sail for the Dry Tortugas, islands off the coast of Florida. Here lies Fort Jefferson a massive hexagonal fortress rising from the sea. Picture a giant stone donut, but instead of sprinkles, it's got cannons. Lots of cannons. Built in the 1800s, Fort Jefferson was meant to protect the U.S. from invaders. It never saw any action, but it did house some famous prisoners, including Dr. Samuel Mudd, the guy who set John Wilkes Booth's broken leg. Awkward. Today you can explore the fort's eerie corridors, climb to the top for breathtaking views, and imagine life as a 19th century soldier. Just watch out for ghosts, I hear they like to hang out here. 